Hello and welcome to Sage and Stone Homestead. My name is Heather, this is Abraham, and this video serves as an introduction into our new series on raising meat rabbits. This series is probably gonna take me around four months to fully produce, and that's because I'm gonna be taking you through the entire process as I go through it again on my farm. Now, here on this farm, my husband Levi and I have spent three years figuring out how we can raise as much of our own food as possible. And one of the first meat sources that we started producing here were rabbits. We much prefer raising rabbits over raising chickens. We talked about that in a recent video, and I'll be linking that at the end of this one. During this series, we're gonna be touching on a few pretty predictable topics, like breeding, housing, preparing for and caring for baby bunnies, different ways you can feed and water them, and of course, the butchering process. We're also gonna be covering some decently uncommon or not often thought about topics, like how to care for rabbits in heat extremes or cold extremes. We're gonna be covering the medicine cabinet and what you should probably keep on hand, different ailments that can come up. We'll be going over all of the record keeping that we do here. And we'll be talking about some of the costs of raising rabbits, as well as some of the return that you can get out of your rabbit herd that essentially makes raising rabbits free. I'll show you some of the different ways that we prepare the meat and put it away, as well as different ways to cook with rabbit. I don't have a consistent published schedule for this specific series. It's going to be based upon when I'm actively doing things with my rabbits here, but I really am interested in seeing some of the questions that you have about raising rabbits. I wanna make sure that I'm going to fully cover everything that you're wondering. So put those questions in the comments box down below. I will probably answer them right away, as well as answering them in the video. I know some of this might be time sensitive. Some of you maybe want to get into rabbits a lot sooner than four months from now. So I'm gonna do my best to answer those comments. So go ahead and stick them down below. Raising rabbits has been a really fun and rewarding endeavor for me. I really hope that I can inspire some of you to at least consider raising rabbits on your homestead. And I hope that this series helps make it more approachable for you. I'm a good bunny. <laughs> 